from Mental Health Association New South Wales reveals that people who are living with a mental illness are less likely to have close friendships. The survey results found that over 60% of people with a mental illness say that they didn't have a best friend, and 70% reporting that they had trouble making new friends. It also found that people with a mental illness lack a strong support system, as they tend to have fewer people to rely on and are often dealing with problems on their own. People with strong friendships and social support had better resilience and mental well-being. But, you know, people saying that 60% of people saying they didn't have a best friend is, is you know, is a concern. I think that you know we would we would want everybody to have someone close in their life that they can talk to and feel comfortable to talk about their, their worries and, and concerns. So something we want to promote more um, the value of friendship. The issues brought up in the survey correlates with this year's theme for Mental Health Month. Good friends help us bounce back. It promotes the importance of strong relationships and support when overcoming a mental illness. When you're depressed, you completely switch off. You switch off every single emotion because it's so painful. I've been through so many injuries physically, but um, the pain of mental health or the, the pain of depression itself far out, outweighs anything physical that I've actually had to endure. Um, but, but friendship and knowing someone is there um, without judgment is just such a massive, massive, massive gift that someone can actually give someone going through the hardest times of their life. Family, friends and carers will also be concentrated on this year, as their needs and wants are often forgotten. Um, you know, when a person has severe depression or anxiety, they're not often capable of giving in the relationship. So carers often end up um, very lonely, very isolated and um, feeling totally depleted because they're giving so much and not getting much back. So it's great that this year um, New South Wales Health is really focusing on family and friends and carers. Mental Health Month in New South Wales will become an annual event every October. This is Sophie Lai reporting for Culture Shock.